Children's Day. It was Children's Day. Got to and Chinky wake up when their papa and mummy say, Happy, Happy Children's, Children's Day. Day. Thank you, mummy. Thanks, papa. Welcome, children. It's your day. Enjoy it fully. Got to and Chinky go to school. In the school, the principal delivers a speech on Children's Day. Children, today is 14th November. Today, our former Prime Minister's Jawaharlal Nehru's birthday. In framing Indian constitution, he played a major role. Nehru ji loved children and roses very much. That's why we celebrate Children's Day. Today, you all have relaxation from study. Just enjoy today's day. Principal presents a rose to every child in the school and blesses them. After that, the children started playing. There were excellent arrangements for refreshments and games. There were sweets to eat and many toys to play with. Gattu and Chinky were playing with their friends on the slipping slide. What fun! Yoo-hoo! While playing on the slides, Gattu notices that outside the gate some poor children with sacks on their shoulders were looking at them with merciful eyes. Oh, poor children are standing there. They might have interest to play with us. Let's call them with us. Yes, yes, call them. Gattu, Chinky and other children go near the gate. The poor children get frightened. Don't be afraid. You can also play with us. You also get food here. Come on, come on. Hearing about this, a poor and innocent child said, Nobody will beat you. We are there by your side. Today is our day, Children's Day. Let's go. The children agreed. After playing a lot, all the children were very tired. Let's go. We are tired now. Let's have some drink and food. We should go now. If somebody sees us, then we will face problem. Let's go for lunch. Don't you feel hungry? Yes, we are hungry. But still we have to do work. If we don't collect garbage and don't sell them, then we won't get food. Aren't you going to school? Our family is poor. They don't afford us to go to school. Gattu and Chinky were hurt learning this. Then there comes a security guard and finding the poor children inside, he becomes furious. How dare you to come inside? Who allowed you? Get lost? Go! Guard was trying to force them out. Gattu and Chinky stopped the guard. Uncle, don't scold them. We call them here. Yes, Uncle. Today is Children's Day. How can you beat a child like this? They are poor. They don't have anything to play, nor they have food. As they are poor, they couldn't able to afford study. You can't throw these children out. If these children go from here, then we will also go out. We will neither eat nor play. Yes, Chinky is right. Don't be stubborn. If I don't let them out, then my job is in stake. At that time, the principal comes and he says to the guard, Who told you that your job will be at stake? These kids are saying right. They are kids too. They are poor. So, they have their right for good food, good shelter and good education. Thank you, sir. These kids are poor. They have to work for their food. They couldn't able to study. Gattu and Chinky, I am proud of you kids. You all thought of these poor children. Only speech is not enough. We have to implement those in our life. And I will do that. Peter, what is your name? Sir, I am Shravan. This is Raju and Chotu. Where do you live, Beta? And what your family do for living? Sir, we are staying at slum. And our parents, they are selling garbages. Do you want to study? Sir, we are poor. We couldn't able to study. Who told you that you can't study? Bring your parents tomorrow. I will do the admission of yours. And I will bear your educational expenses. Sir, in our slum, many children are interested for study. Yes, yes, come together. 
if every child can play and enjoy their food then only the children they will be successful now go enjoy your food gattu and chinki take your new friends let's go shavan let's go raju come on all the children rush towards the food and jump on sweets and food thus on the basis of good thoughts and assistance of gattu and chinki the poor children could enjoy children's day too gattu's best friend long time ago in a city there lived a 7 year old boy named gattu he used to live with his parents gattu was very good in both sports and academics and that is why his parents and his teachers were very happy with him there was a boy named rahul in gattu's class rahul and gattu were very good friends while gattu was very gullible on the other hand rahul was very mischievous he always used to plan some mischievous act in his mind then one day the teacher told the students present in class students tomorrow i will take english exam so everybody come prepared for tomorrow's exam and remember whoever will get poor marks i will take that student to the principal sir hearing this gattu got scared principal sir is very strict so tomorrow i will come prepared for the exam after the school got over gattu went straight back to home and after having some food he started studying while he was studying it got evening when suddenly rahul came into gattu's room hey rahul when did you come to my house i came here to take you to the park let's go to the park and play but today i can't go to the park i still have to read two more chapters you also go home and prepare for tomorrow's exam you know very well it doesn't matter how many times i try but i can't remember these chapters okay then you go and play in the park and you will pass the exam by copying from me the next day they did the same as they decided when the exam started at first gattu completed his own paper in a hurry and then he let rahul who was sitting near to him copy from his paper and helped him in cheating seeing rahul get 10 out of 10 the teacher thought rahul spends all his day doing mischiefs then how could he get 10 out of 10 thinking this the teacher told the students students tomorrow i will take your maths exam hearing this gattu told rahul rahul don't worry i will help you in tomorrow's exam also the next day like always they both sat together to give the exam but then suddenly the teacher told gattu gattu you sit here with sona but teacher i always sit here with rahul but today you will sit here after the teacher said so gattu came and sat beside sona and rahul gave the exam sitting all alone gattu was upset so he finished his paper early but all the time rahul kept thinking i don't know the answer to a single question what to do now seeing rahul fail gattu and rahul started crying you told me that you will let me copy from your exam paper sorry rahul but the teacher changed my seat seeing them cry the teacher came closer and said making them understand rahul i knew you always pass the exam by copying from gattu's answer sheet so knowingly i changed both of your sitting arrangements and gattu more than rahul you need to learn this good friends always stop their friends from making mistakes they don't hide their mistakes so kids what did you learn from this story we should never hide our friends mistakes but like a good friend we should always stop our friends from making mistakes eid mubarak it was the day of eid all the children of gattu chinki society gathered at riaz's house to celebrate eid riaz's entire house was decorated and the whole house was shining with bright lights gattu chinki and rest of the kids were having fun with riaz 
when Riaz's grandfather came to the children. They stopped having fun on seeing grandpa and sat down with him. Why you children have come alone? Where are your parents? Why didn't you bring them along? Grandpa, our parents will be coming shortly. We had to play, so we came little early. Well done, son. Stay a while. Later, we will go to the mosque and seek blessings from Allah. Grandpa, why do we celebrate Eid? Son, Eid is a festival. We get happiness from celebrating Eid. That is why we celebrate Eid. God has given us this precious life. We thank Him for that through these rituals. That means we thank God in this way, right? After listening to Gattu, Grandpa said smiling. <laughs> yes, son. We thank God in this way. Be it God or Allah or Ram or Rahim, everyone is the same. Everyone's sermon is that enjoy her life with love and brotherhood. That is why we celebrate Eid. We keep Rosa and then we eat sweet dishes. And by hugging each other, we give our good wishes for the festival. Yes, just like we say Happy Diwali in the same way we say Eid Mubarak, right? Grandpa, what is Rosa? Rosa means fasting, purification of the body as well as purification of the mind. That's why all the Muslims keep Rosa for a month. And then after the Eid moon appears, the next day they celebrate happiness by celebrating Eid. In this way, Grandpa and children were talking. That's when Riaz's father came and said, Abu, let's go. It's time for the namaz. Yes, yes, let's go. Then, along with Grandpa and Riaz's father, Gattu, Chinki and the rest of the children also reached the mosque. After reaching there, the children saw that a lot of people had come to the mosque to offer namaz, wearing new clothes. The scent of itar was everywhere in the mosque, which made the whole atmosphere very happy and holy. In the mosque, Everyone recited the namaz and then they started hugging each other and offered good wishes for Eid. Gattu Chinki and rest of the kids also hugged each other and started giving good wishes for Eid. Eid Mubarak Riyaz. Thanks Gattu. Eid Mubarak to you too. Eid Mubarak Riyaz. Same to you Chinki. After the namaz, the children came outside the mosque along with Grandpa where they saw that some poor children and women were sitting outside the mosque. People were donating money and clothes to them. These are the poor people. They do not have the money to celebrate Eid. So their Eid celebration is being arranged by giving them money and clothes. On hearing this, Gattu and Chinki got emotional. Then everyone came straight to Riaz's house from the mosque. Now a lot of crowd had gathered at Riaz's place to celebrate Eid. Along with Gattu Chinki's parents, the rest of the society was also present. Eid Mubarak Imtiaz! Eid Mubarak Bhaijan! After a while, Riaz's mother brought Sheer Kurma and the rest of the sweets for everyone and started serving to everyone. Everyone ate Sheer Kurma and other sweets and everyone was satisfied. The children too ate sweets but still a lot of sweets were left. Seeing this, Gattu gestured to Riaz and the children came into a corner and started having a private meeting. What happened Gattu? Do you want some more sweets? No, our stomachs are already full. But still, there are lots of sweets left, so why don't we share the remaining sweets among the poor children sitting outside the mosque? Along with us, they will also feel satisfied. Riyaz became very happy after listening to Gattu. You are saying the right thing, man. Grandpa says that we should think more about others' happiness on Eid. Grandpa will never say no to this idea. I will come back in a while after talking to him.
Riaz ran towards grandpa and started talking to him. After a while, the children saw Riaz bringing a tray full of sweets along with a smile on his face. Why are you all standing? There are still lots of sweets left in the kitchen. Grandpa told to distribute them among the poor children. And then all the children ran away and took the sweets and reached in front of the mosque and distributed them among the poor kids and while sharing the sweets they started sharing Eid's happiness Agar aapko hamari videos pasand aa rahe hain to inhe like kare comment kare aur subscribe kare